You guys clicked on today's video wanting more FPS for your reload, battle royale, or creative mode, then you clicked on the right. Trust me guys when I say that these tips and tricks will improve your Fortnite FPS and I'm excited to show you guys. So without further ado, let's jump in and I'm going to show you guys how to improve your FPS in Fortnite. Step one, we're going to want to pull up our search bar and then type in edit power plan. It's going to pull this up and you're going to want to go to change advanced settings. You're going to want to come up here to where mine says high performance mode, but yours might say balanced or power saver, but you're going to want to put it into high performance mode. That is going to kick your PC into over gear, but you don't want to leave it in this full time. So when you're not gaming, I would recommend putting it back on balance. Then you're going to want to load up Fortnite and that will take us into step two. Now that you have your Fortnite loaded up, we're going to want to hit control alt delete, which is going to bring up your task manager. It might take a second like it did mine right here. Here's a little bonus Easter egg for you guys. Anything you don't want running in the background. For instance, I'm going to show you guys this canvas. I'm going to right click on it and mash end task. Google Chrome or maybe even like Microsoft Edge or anything like that, you can right click and mash in task. This will help your CPU and take a lot off of it. Obviously something like this, animal wear service, um, you cannot turn that off. So don't turn anything like that off. Um, if all these apps was running, it would be at like 40% as you see here at the top. We're only running like 10 to 12% right now. So now for the big one coming up right here, as you see, you have Fortnite opened up. We're going to want to right click on Fortnite. Then we're going to go down to go to details and we're going to left click on that. You're going to see all this, but it's in alphabetical order. This is all your apps and, and games and things. You're going to want to go down to Fortnite and not the two that says Win64. The first one that says EXE, it should say Fortnite Launcher EXE. You're going to left click on it, go set priority. Yours should be set to normal, maybe even below normal. You're going to want to set it to high. And it is going to warn you this saying, hey, if you change this priority, blah, 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 you know, it, this could uh, call system instability. If you have an older graphics card, you might not want to go to high, but I have an RTX 4080 and mine can handle it. And this is now going to put Fortnite in pretty much ultra performance mode. like. I'm telling my PC, give all the graphics and all the performance to Fortnite right now. I do want to remind you guys, you will have to reset this every single time you go into Fortnite. You'll have to mash control, delete, go into your task manager, right click on Fortnite, go to details, and then go down to the first EXE and change it from normal to high. It will reset to normal every time. But here's now our settings. We are at 1440p unlimited frame rate we have performance mode now guys performance mode is the key to this you have to go performance mode if you want this pretty much fps we are on 100 percent 3d resolution if you turn it down to 50 it it just does not look good at all in my opinion um and you only have three settings on this view distance textures and meshes you want the textures and meshes on low and view distance on near to me it just it's not worth it i don't get that maybe 5 10 fps more on near but on medium at least you can see weapons from farther away and just like that guys we are now gonna jump in a match and i cannot wait to show you the fps in this this is pretty awesome again on 1440p it's it's insane pretty insane i mean that it can do this again on 1440p yes we're in performance mode but anyways we loaded on the battle bus the battle bus just goes crazy six seven hundred fps at times 800 um the other day i was getting around a thousand fps on the battle bus but um i usually don't get that near that high when we load in here as we jump though from the battle bus this is always interesting to me no matter what setting you have it on that jump the fps just tanks pretty much but then we're right back in the high 300s right here this is reload i've really been enjoying reload let me know what you guys have been playing are you creative are you reload or are you battle royale and also if you're battle royale are you build mode or zero build but as we come in here into the 
restaurant, the shop, it's like, well, that's not great, but we're still in the high 300s right here. And boom, all of a sudden, there you see the 400s. And here in a minute, it it is like stays in the 400s for a while on our highs. Again, on 1440p performance mode. And when you have the brightness turned up max like that and you're on 100%, um, as you see here, I, I tried this mode right here. I don't even know how to say these names. But it got darker, as you can see, and I'd heard, that the, I don't even know how you say it, trying a lot or whatever it's called, mode, looks the best this season. Let me see what the name of this is. Try to nope. I don't even know. Try to nope. It just, to me, looks a little bit better. It, it definitely gives it a little brighter um, look to it because I don't know about you guys, but, man, this season is dark. Like, even on the Battle Royale. Um, here we are shooting the moon, like looking up. Look at this. Our highs, I seen 477, staying in the 400s. Just absolutely insane. I do want to go ahead and let y'all know we do hit over 500 FPS here in a minute. Um, it's just, it's again, it's crazy. Let me know down below if you guys try these settings out and if it helps your FPS out, because this definitely should help it out. I would say, you know, I don't know. I don't have an older graphics card, so this is still one of the newest. I know the 5000 series is coming out in a couple months. There we was. Boom, we hit over 500 FPS there. That's insane. Crazy. 480, 460, 498. I mean, wow. And again, we could even go crazier. If you guys want to see a video of me doing like a stretch res like 1720 by 1080 I would be more than glad to do that to see what we can get um, I was messing around with it the other day and it's it's pretty insane it actually is pretty insane but for me um, this is uh, plenty FPS now there's one downside to this and you are gonna laugh at me maybe even make fun of me in the comments down below but my monitor is a obviously it's a 2k monitor but it only goes to 144 hertz so i know hertz and fps is two totally different things but realistically um i should just play at a locked frame of 144 fps to be able to actually see that like to actually be able to see 240 fps you need a 240 hertz monitor even though they're two different things you're not really truly going to get the feel of what that would feel like if you don't have that monitor. Um, and so, I don't know if you guys have seen the new one that's coming out, but I think Asus is making it the new 480 hertz monitor. And it's, you know, all these monitors, when it says that, that means at 1080p. Um, you cannot usually unlock that. It'd be like maybe 360 hertz at 1080p, but maybe 240 at 4K or or 1440p, I should say. But this new monitor that's coming out, guys, is 480 hertz at 1440p. I cannot even fathom that. Um, Compared to 360 hertz, it is a pretty small jump, but. When you now compare it to 240, it is a night and day difference. 480 hertz honestly makes 240 look like a slideshow. And when you compare the two side by side, it definitely feels that way too. This monitor though takes it even further. It can do 480 hertz at 1440p, which is kind of a big deal because previously, if you wanted this surreal, like lifelike motion on your screen, you would have to settle for 1080p, either a 25 inch TN panel or a pretty large 32 inch dual mode OLED, which is what I'm currently running. And look, 1080p is fine, but have you seen 1440p on a new 27 inch OLED panel? It is unbelievably clear. It is a thousand dollars. It's gonna be a thousand dollars, which is insane. And I already set up my next monitor. I wanted it to be a 4K monitor. Kind of want to get the one like Optimum had that he's been showing off that can switch back and forth between 4K, I believe 144 hertz, and then like 1080p 360 hertz, which is amazing. The new one that's coming out, 480 hertz, is an OLED panel on top of that. So the blacks are perfectly dark. I've seen nothing but good reviews on it. The HDR goes just insane 
I might wait till this one comes out and eventually maybe like next year goes on sale or maybe by then I'm sure there'll be another one but um, catch a decent deal on it then you might see me with a 480 Hertz monitor <laughs> who knows realistically probably should just go for a 360 but again the whole point of it is that you can do 480 at 1440p that is going to be insane put it on performance mode like this at 1440p and get all those frames and i truly believe that my um pc can do it so we might get that in the future pretty insane again the fact that you can do 1440p and um sacrifice a few settings you know a few graphical settings here and there you can get some insane fps and for me, I just 1080p is not worth it for 4080 graphics card. Um, as we see, the llama Kevin is over here. We gotta go get our friend Kevin, the llama. Gonna take a little damage here, but that's okay. And y'all might be wondering why are you playing no fill duos on reload? And honestly, if my friends are not on, then I just don't really care about teaming up with a random. So a lot of times, I'll just throw it on to do these benchmark tests and get footage and um, every once in a while maybe win a game. I actually had won the game before this and of course I was yeah, not recording. <laughs> this game, I tweaked a couple settings and said you know what we're going to record this and I got probably the best FPS that I had gotten thus far on 1440p this match and um, as we see right there man it was like 420, 405, 412 and then of course some areas on all the maps like it doesn't matter even the old school map which this is the old school map but i can remember there'd be certain areas that the fps would just you know go down and then other areas for whatever reason just was incredible but i will say this the new chapter five season what are we leaving on season four or season five whatever the new season is right now um is not optimized very well and it's uh it's been a struggle for, uh, yeah, just getting good FPS, but I've really enjoyed the reload and able to tweak some settings. But anyways, as y'all seen, I just died there. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please let me know down in the comments below if this helped your FPS out. And if it did, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. And if you want to see more videos like this, once again, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, God bless you guys. Peace.